Yo, it's Ace. Today I'm going to show you guys the best bow effect you guys can make. It is really simple. You guys can make it in After Effects and I'm pretty sure in Premiere Pro as well. I'm going to be talking over the video and explaining to you guys what I'm doing in every single step. Before the video is to start, all I have to ask is for you guys to drop a sub. It's free. You guys are going to help me out so much. And also drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Everything you guys need for the video, like overlays, effects, you know, everything project files it'll be in the description so make sure to go get it it's free all for you guys first thing you guys need is a cinematic with a blue or green screen just so you guys could take out the bow by itself it'll be really easy if you guys do this all i'm doing in this clip is making the cinematic shorter so basically one second so it looked good in the clip all of the important keys that i'm pressing whether it be shortcuts or everything it'll be in the bottom of the screen so you guys know what i'm pressing and you guys could basically follow me the second thing you guys need is an image, a background image, uh, as you can see on the screen. All I'm doing right now is just rotating the image so it looks good with the skin. And just basically play around with it, make sure it looks good and it actually looks realistic. The first overlay that we'll be adding is a glitch overlay. So just get the glitch overlay from the description and all we gotta do is add hue to it so you'll change the color to white. Make sure to copy the settings, it is in the corner so you could change it to white. We have to max out the glitch effect so we could only get it on one side. It looks better that way. So just go through all of the keyframes, just copy what I'm doing on the screen and just mask out the character. Next, what we need to do is actually render out the skin by itself. It's gonna look a little bit weird. You, there's a multiple ways you could do it, but just render out only the skin, only the skin part by itself, and just import it back in. What we're going to do is something called rotoscope. It's basically masking out the character. So what I'm doing right now is selecting all of the character and just going frame by frame to make sure it's correct and everything is selected. Make sure you go frame by frame and seeing that everything is selected with the skin. If you do it correctly, nothing will change. The skin basically will look the same. What we're going to do now is use something called auto trace and basically we're just getting the mask from the skin so we can add the glow and the effect that we're going to do. All we need is the first mask so you could delete everything else. Just copy as along what I'm doing right now. We're going to be creating a new solid and using Saber. If I'm going too fast, just make sure to slow down the video. I have text in the bottom and you can just copy literally what I'm doing on the screen. It's really simple. After you add Saber, choose whatever color you want and just copy the settings that I have on the screen. It's really simple. And It'll give like a really cool effect that you guys are going to see. All we're doing now is basically adding that red background overlay. All you have to do is click on the obviously click on the description, get the overlay, and just put it on the background. A couple of things I have to say about this: make sure to change the opacity down to like 10. I don't think I corrected on the video, but around 10, 20, depending on what video you have, just do that. Right now, we're going to be adding the zoom in and out effect as you guys seen in the beginning of the video. It's pretty simple. Just copy the settings. I know I'm going kind of fast in the video, but I'm going to be slowing it down. So make sure there are four keyframes and make sure to copy the settings for all four keyframes. I'll slow the video down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Make sure to copy the graph settings as well. After you copy the four keyframes, go to graphs and make sure the graph looks like that. Right now we're adding an adjustment layer to basically add the shake effect that we need in the middle of the sin. It just makes the sin looks better and mo looks more clean. So as again, copy my settings, I'm going to be slowing the video down, copy each frame. In the adjustment layer, we're also going to be adding something called directional blur. It's basically going to add a blur to the shake exactly when we're going to shake and it's just going to make it look more smooth and better. That's literally going to be the last effect that we're going to use and after that you're going to have this right here it looks really sick obviously you guys need to add glows over uh, more overlays if you guys want add your color corrections and it's gonna look perfect thank you guys for watching the video make sure to drop a sub and like it's free it'll help me out so much also comment what tutorial i should do next and see you guys next time